Pleasure. Business. A little bit of both. What kind of business are you in? I am a cruise ship captain of a very large vessel. My small friend here is a kick-ass travel agent. Permission to come aboard, Captain. And on that note, would you excuse us, please, ladies? Because we do ask to have some work to do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, That's a lovely suit. Oh, this is a rose fire. your baby brother to protect you. Is that so good? Then? <laughs> well, let's get on us. Shots fired. Men down. <laughs>
Heinrich is not gonna be happy. I'm more concerned about the boss. Definitely. Hey, you think those girls are still here? around the edges. However, the Templite has significant damage and there's rusting around 300 degrees. So that means the Cortex gets the recommend. See ya? The best product always wins. Oh. Ooh, Lauren. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering if I might skip out a little bit early for the holiday weekend. Jerry's taking me to an alpaca farm. Oh, yeah, of course. It's a holiday and a weekend. <laughs> yeah, so you should do that. Okay. Have fun. You have fun too. I will. Talk FDR. Six men in the moor. A body in the middle of the street. Yes, but to be fair, we did manage to, uh... Shut up. To, uh, that's me shutting up right now. The mission parameters of the Heinrich case were clearly indicated to be covert. Thanks to you two geniuses, Heinrich will be seeking revenge for his brother's death. You guys are grounded. What? Grounded. I'm so sorry. Uh, Lauren, this is Kelly. Hi. 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 Very nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that big rock. Yep. My fiance. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You are engaged. Yeah. To be married. Things just worked out exactly how it was supposed to, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's cool. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna go because I'm gonna go meet my guy, Ken. Huh. Um, he's a surgeon. Wow. So, great. Well, um, congratulations on your ring and your oh, and bikes and yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah. Just for peace. I want to die right now. Susie, I'm sorry. Hey, Ken. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, sure, you might make a mistake and end up with the wrong guy. But you might end up meeting the right guy. So isn't that worth it? I mean, really, what is the worst thing that could happen? Skin suit? Skin suit's pretty bad. Thank you for having me over to your nanas today. Are you kidding me? You're my best friend or family. Oh, my God. This is Google free. Yeah. Try a test. Why the heck are you two sitting over here all by yourselves? You're not going to make me any great grandbabies this way. It is a family gathering, and I don't think you want us making any great grandbabies today. To be fair, I have already provided you with a wonderful great grandchild. Yeah, but that doesn't count because you screwed it all up. Ouch. Am I in mm -hmm. Let's show these kids how it's done, huh? <laughs> See? Ciao. It's kind of gross when they kiss. <laughs> God, I love that kid. What's going on? Hey, Mr. Deepenthought. Mm -hmm. Want to talk about it? Not that just think it's lovely, isn't it? It's really lovely. What's lovely? Well, the way I love the way that they look into each other's eyes like that. I'm pretty sure that's the cataracts. Okay, you asked me a serious question, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Right, so what? Do you want a, a serious answer? Yeah. We'll move to the cake down. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Take us down. Talk to me. No, no, seriously. Man check. Yeah? Good. Man to man. I trust you. I know you'd do anything for me. I'd do anything for you. I know that you would take a bullet for me. I would for you as well, and you know that. Right? Can you imagine? All of that. Yes. Can you imagine what that would be like to share with a woman? No. Okay. 
Thank you. Joe, good luck, son. Go to war! That's it. Are you fit? That's fit. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Oh, no. oh, fool. Down he goes. Ground and pound him. Get up. Ground and pound. Ground and pound. Keep it going. Hammer fist him. Hammer fist. It's right there. That's it. Finish. He's giving his back. Really make it so. I get him. Yes. He's tapping. He's out. Booyah. See what I mean? That's how it works, boy! Good, yeah, yeah. oh, you sure did, son! <laughs> Take him! What are you doing here in the middle of the day? Well, I had a bit of time off and I thought that I'd come hang with my homie. I got creamed. No, you didn't get creamed. That's just a matter of opinion. What do you know about fighting? You're just a travel agent. I know enough to know that he who hesitates. Pain is just weakness leaving the body. Hey, bud. Hi. You hey, how you doing? You know you're in town. I got a couple of days off from the agency, so I thought I'd come see Joe. You're still the only travel agent I've ever met who actually travels for his job. Yeah. Um, so I, w I was thinking that maybe, um, maybe you, me, and Joe, we could all go out together, you know, as a family and maybe get something to eat and have a meal. I think that would be really, really good. I have a date tonight, Doc. So, maybe some other time. Sure. That's great. Good. That's good. Bye, Doc. special person. Find your soulmate with just one click. Log on today. Take our 69 and open the door to your new love life. No more love. No more empty mornings. Give yourself the gift of love. You deserve it. What have you got to lose? Looking good, boss. What? Hi, Bob. What? <clears throat> good morning, Hudson. I'm down, girl. I'm down, too. Emily, what am I down with? Oh, my goodness. It's a... Uh, you check your desktop. Hey. 
doing? Bye, curious. Skinny dipping. Rollerblading? I mean, what is this, 1994? You looked adorable in those dolphin shorts, and men are going to respond to that camel toe. I'm going to kill you, Trish. Uh, how about thank you? My entire office thinks I cleaned my house in a naughty nurse costume. That's fine. That's fine. That means you're open to role playing, okay? We're trying to cast a very wide net here. We don't know what kind of guys you like yet. You've got me here in a keg stand looking for a serious relationship. I don't even know what that means. It means that you're flexible. Guys want to know that you're flexible and that you're good at gymnastics. No, 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 no. That's mommy's special milk, okay? Just get me off this thing. How do I cancel it? You're not canceling it. I'm in charge of that and you're not canceling it. Sorry. Wait a second. Who is that? Oh my god, he's cute. Let me get this straight. You put your personal private details on a very public website. Yes. Are you insane? No. Where are you taking it? I'll leave that to me. Taking her to the blarness, though. I like the jukebox. You're such a cheese mole. Fuck. Here's how it's going to go down. You're going to go on this date, then I'm going to go on the date with you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm scared for you, mate. You haven't done this in a long time. This girl could be all sorts of crazy. And besides, half those girls pee standing up, Tuck. The other half are on one of our watch lists. It's a date. Look, lucky for you, I'm free tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the binoculars, I'm gonna bring the hand cream, keep a hundred yeah. yard radius. It'll be sweet stuff. No, you can't yeah, wait. Come on. Like, you know what you're gonna do. That's just wrong. No, it's wrong. I need a little privacy. You know what? I'll be around the corner on ringtone. I'll be at the video store. One ring means you need an extraction, two means you need a cleaner, three means I can get home. 200 yards. So! <laughs> Are you a tech? Hi, I'm Lauren. Gosh, hello. How are you? Very nice to meet you. You too. Um, please, sit. Please, sorry. Um, wow. Uh, you are really, really beautiful. Can you say that a few more times because your voice is amazing? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to apologize again for that bizarre profile. No, 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 no. My friend Trish is... Oh, no, don't be never see. I think everybody should have a friend who's a spouse. I think I'm going to have to kill her. Well, actually, I might be able to help you with that. <laughs> Kidding. So am I. Love is the only thing that can save this poor creature. And I am going to convince him that he is loved, even in Tell me one thing that's not on your profile. Um, I have a son. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's called Joe. He's seven, and he's really lovely, really lovely. And his mom? Good work. How about you? No kids that I know of. Okay. And no ex-wives. I have a very important question to ask you. Good, go on. Have you ever been, or do you ever plan on being a serial killer? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you've got to keep your options open. <laughs> no. You can answer. <laughs> you never kill anybody with your bare hands. Not this week. Great. Lauren, you're incredible. You're not so bad yourself. All right, I'm going to go and rent a movie and take a cold shower. I will too. Okay, and wait for your call for the next... Five minutes. <laughs> this is where it all started. The 
Yes, I was standing a little over that desk. No, you were sitting in the chair. And suddenly you started walking toward me. Very slowly. Very slowly. I could count every step. And when you were walking toward me so very slowly, I thought, what's the matter with you? Can't you walk faster? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You take it. No, no, no. That's okay. You take it. Are you sure? You know what? You're not going to like it. I, it's got a twist, then, and you'll see it coming from a mile away. And how would you know what I like? I know movies and women. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then why don't you tell me what I want? <laughs> The lady vanishes? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, firstly, you can never go wrong with Hitchcock, ever. It's got comedy, drama, romance, it's a thriller. It's classy, but not stuffy. And it's a little obscure, so if you haven't seen it, well, thank me for introducing you to it. If you have, you'll know what a good choice it was. Well, I have seen it. Mm -hmm. And it is a really good choice. Mm -hmm. However, not as good as Rebecca and Notorious, Vertigo, or pretty much any of his films from 1960 to 1972. In fact, it's sort of a second-tier title. <laughs> you know what, Scratch? Look, I, I see you surveying the press box. That one over there in foreign, too much angst. This one over here in the sweater set, picking out animated movies? That girl will have your children named before breakfast. <laughs> the problem is, no one here looks like a clean getaway. I get it. You come in here looking for a girl running a movie. Clearly, she doesn't have a date for the night. or easy targets. And you look like the kind of guy who's interested in a one-day rental, if you know what I mean. But if you knew anything about women, or anything about me, you know that I'm perfectly capable of choosing my own movies. Thanks. Happy hunting. So, sir, you want me to hack into a video store database? It's for the Heimlich case. Searching database. All right, keep on scrolling. Wait, stop, scroll back. That's her. Sir, how is this girl connected to Heinrich? That's she for classified. Hello, everybody. I'm Lauren Scott. Thank you so much for being here today. We're here today to talk about grills. Does anybody have any first impressions? I like the rotisserie feature. Perfect, that's very helpful. I don't think it heated up fast enough. Like something was wrong with the motor, maybe the spark was dead. Actually, sir, there's nothing wrong with the spark. Some people think grills just burst into flames at the slightest touch. It doesn't work like that. Does anybody have any useful opinions? I thought the lid was hard to handle. Mm-hmm. Oh, the lid. What a pain, right? I just felt the whole thing to be a bit stiff, uptight, not really user-friendly. I think it depends on the user. Mm. Which just so happens I have a lot of experience with grills. I'm something of a grill master. Uh, this is a very sophisticated grill. I'm not sure you've dealt with one of those before. Maybe a girl like this is just so scared of being burned, stays on simmer, and never really heats up all the way. Don't touch my grill. I don't think a girl like this can handle a guy like me. I think it could. Really? Easily. Prove it. 8 p.m. Barcelona tomorrow. I don't think so. All right. I guess I could stick around a little bit longer, talk about girls. Charcoal or gas, everyone? Number 19, what do you think? Nothing if I say yes, there. will you leave? This is my job. 8 p.m. tomorrow. Fine. 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 You smell that.
What were you doing on the computer? Porn? Photograph my girl. Dude, I was doing the same thing. I was doing a background check on my girl. Yeah, I don't know if that's creepy or romantic. It's chromantic. I do it all the time. You want to see her? Yeah, sure. You want to see her? Yeah. I bet you have got antlers and howls at the moon. She does, but she's incredibly attractive with me. <laughs> okay. She's a 10. You're on three. One, two, three, nigga. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, hey. I'll sound okay. One, one. That's uh, Lauren, uh, Lauren Scott. Scott. Is that a, that's the girl from the video store. That's right around the corner from the bar. Oh, wow. Um, I had no idea. No, of course you didn't. How could, how could you know that? How, how could you know that? Did she, um, <clears throat> did she actually say she wanted to go out on a date with you, though? You know what? I'm going to make this really easy. Um, I'm going to bow out. You did her. Wait, no, hang on a second. Did she actually say that she wanted to go Look, out man, on a date? It doesn't matter. That's weird. I love you. You're my best friend. Yeah. You go date her. Yeah, besides the fact, if I got in the picture, it wouldn't even be fair. I'll, well, I'm sorry. What does that mean? What does that mean? I mean, you're not out there as much as I am. And like anything, practice makes uh, perfect. No, 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 no. Is not, it perfect? not, not, no. Maybe not perfect, but but but, but, but damn near close. Well, perfect. You believe that as well. And uh, you don't have to bow out because of me. You don't? Uh, I'm not concerned that you're going to fall in love with you, pal. Uh, how very nice of you. Thank you. You are welcome. So do you think? Whatever that is. Um, just let her decide. Sure. Yeah. 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 And while we're at it, why don't we put some ground rules in as well? I think we should. Number one, I don't think we should tell her that we know each other. Number two, let's stay out of each other's way. Number three, yeah. No hanky panky. No hanky panky. God, you've not dated in a long time, have you? And if this ever starts to affect our friendship, which it, which it won't, which it won't, then we walk away. Done. So then we have, we have, we have a gentleman's agreement. The gentleman's agreement. We do. Yeah. The best man win. The best man for her. For her. For the lady. For the lady. For her. Best man. I understand your several roles finest. We do our best, sir. In that case, I'd like to have a suit in this fabric. Ah, uh -huh. South American Vicunia. An excellent choice indeed. One thing with my suits, I'd like to know they're one of a kind. I wouldn't want to run into anyone wearing the same suit. I'm sure you understand that. Of course, sir. But with this particular fabric and color, I... Only made one other, and that was for a gentleman who lives quite far away. How far exactly? Uh, Los Angeles. Have you any reason to go there soon? I do not. Hello, thanks for calling. I'm sorry I'm late in at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Tuck, tuck! Where are you, man? Five o'clock. Ship's marathon I'm about to start. I got new six foot back. Hey, oh, duh. Come. Oh my god, I love these places. Yeah, that's it, mate. And we're not going to leave here until we spend all of our tokens. Thanks for calling. I'm sorry, mate. And it's one please leave a message. I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. Dude, where are you? Oh, <laughs> 
Are you maybe you, maybe your phone's turned off or something? But just check it and make well clearly you can't check it and see if it. Hey, whatever. Call me. So it's a great day, hockey cheeks. It is. I'm available for life anytime. <laughs> <laughs> but only for you. Now there's something else I'm going to show you. No, I'm going to try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hey, man, so uh, I'm a little worried. I don't know if um, you haven't returned my calls for, like, a long time now, like an hour. So uh, just give me a call if, if, you, if you're okay, okay? Okay. I said okay now. I fucked up. Give me a call. Okay. Hey, where are we going? There are lions in here. No! Yes. Are you serious? Okay. Wow. So beautiful. We're going up there? You're gonna catch me, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. One. Yeah. Two. Three. There you go. Oh, my gosh. at 9 o'clock while we're eating Cheetos. It's kind of awesome. It is awesome. For women everywhere. That's the spirit. Do it. And Bob's super horny. I gotta go. Okay. Bye. Okay, for women everywhere. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Slays everything he sets his sights on, right? You got a positive lock on that license plate. You want us to put it up? Yes. No, that she no, I don't. Yeah, go on. If you would, thanks, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, we can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta do it now. Go on. I'm here now. Wow. I wasn't sure if you were going to show. 
Told you I can handle it. We'll see. Oh, I, I don't want to lose my spot. Don't worry about it. After you. Inside for a minute, we'll have a good time. It's really okay. I I've done this. When I was a gymnast back in high school, my best event was the keg stand. You were a gymnast? Unbelievable. That's a valid question. You said you were a gymnast. I asked the question. That is exactly why I'm walking away right now. <laughs> because you're you're uptight and you don't know how to have a good time? You have the emotional intelligence of a 15-year-old boy. <laughs> And you think I would be interested in going out with you or going back up in the club? I don't think so. Thank you, judgmental princess. Can we just call it a night? Can we please call it a night? Good night. Sayonara. Have fun. Ciao. Go back to the retirement village. I'll see you soon. Oh, my God. This is not happening. <laughs> Go back here! Just, just kiss me. I'm just kiss you. Just kiss you. Just kiss me right now. Right now, just kiss me. You're bipolar. Oh. Lauren. Uh. Lauren. Hey. Oh. There you are. Oh, Steve. Oh my God, that is so funny running into you again. <laughs> Um, this is my boyfriend, FDR. Huh. He, uh, he's the surgeon that we were talking about. Huh. Yeah. Neurosurgeon. Oh. I'm the department head of the Children's Hospital. Wow, that's amazing. Ah. He is. He's really amazing. Stop yeah. amazing. <laughs> You know, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what makes me happy. The smile on the child's face, waking up next to you every morning. I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's so funny. You're cheating. <laughs> We're really happy. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. But I, who wouldn't be happy with a girl like this? Look at her. She's got everything. She's got the beauty, the style, the grace. So sweet to me. Did you know she was a gymnast in high school? No, I didn't know that. I didn't think so. Yeah. He likes it. <laughs> Frisky, I love it. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Can you do that thing in the hub? Yeah, you know what? I think uh, I think yeah. we should probably get going. Stan, it was such a pleasure. We gotta I go. Mean, Steve, but that's cool. Mm -hmm. Great meeting you. Steve, yeah, yeah, whatever. Really nice meeting you. Really nice. Sweetheart, it was such a pleasure. Look at that. Please. Yeah. Kiss on the hand there. That's sweet. You are so lucky. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Right. Bye now, guys. Bye. Yep. Yeah. See ya. Have fun, Simon. It's Steve. Okay, thank you so much. I'm sorry, what did you say? This, this year is a little down. I said thank you. Thank you. You don't have to be annoying about it. You want to go grab a bite? I know a pizza place from the corner. You owe me an explanation for whatever that was. Okay. 
Yeah. You're right, I do. Sure. Let's go. Okay. So I packed up my entire life and I followed him out here. And six months later, I found him in bed with a Pilates instructor. Mm. He's just not the guy I thought he was. I feel like I made a mistake. I don't believe in mistakes. Well, that's a very convenient philosophy for someone like yourself. Hmm. It's the mistakes that make us who we are. They led you here, right? Would you rather be back in Atlanta right now? No, not really. And they led you to your job, and you like your job. I love my job. So there you go. Just saying. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Smart for a club rat. Oh, no. Good morning. Nice looking moon from last night. Count my day. What? No. No? Yeah, you did. Okay. Sorry, I did. I recorded your day. We had a deal. I know. I'm sorry that I just started thinking. And I had you started to thinking. I had to find out. I didn't know. That's all. I'm sure if there was some action, what, what were you going to do? Call, call in special ops? No! Or sniper squad? No, no, no. Me out? I'm not <laughs> Our Munich office got a hit back on one of Heinrich's men from Hong Kong. Name's Ivan Sokolov. Here's a surveillance file from the DFS in Mexico. We expect he's trying to get Heinrich into the country through the L.A. Harbor. Chatter suggests Ivan lives here in L.A. Now flush him out. She's definitely lost her spark. All right, look, you flag Interpol, call some of our contacts. I really like this girl. I really like her too. No, I really, really like her. So do I. You do. Yeah, I do. So you're not backing off? Nope. Okay. Then you ought to know that when we went out on our date, Lauren and I, we, um, what? 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 What do you do? We shared a kiss. Wow. Mm hmm Incredibly magical kiss with the tongue. Oh, dear. Wonderful. You are an animal. Look, pal. We kissed, too. It's pretty special. I don't think it'll be the last. Well, we'll see about that one. We shall see about that. Yes, we will. We will see about that. Don't do that. Don't say what I just said. We will see about that. About that, we will see. We will see about that. About that, we will see. Right! This is a live operation, it's a full rap and tap, boys. I want parabolics, infrared, sat cams, everything we've got in the job. I want you to acquire intel on one Lauren Scott. What are her secret likes, dislikes? I want to know what makes her laugh, what makes her cry. Best friends, family members, everything is important. I'm the last three guys she slept with. Who she was sleeping with last week. You want us to take them out? He wants to take him out? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what exactly does this have to do with the Heinrich case? I'm afraid that's the five classified for my eyes only. This operation is top secret. Don't let your country down, boys. Right to that. This is how we do it. Party's 
Here. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt playtime, but we have an address on Ivan Sokolov, and I thought you boys might want to get out of the office. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll take the lead, you run back. No, I'll always stick with taking the lead on this one. Thank you. I'm always the first one in the door. You know it always falls at everything. Hello. Well, um... <laughs> Of Ivan. Oh no, take lead, please. Yeah, no, honestly, I'll feel Brute patchouli. I love patchouli. Lovely. I love it. Oh, no, I'm not. 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 He actually won the, the Go Fish Masters <laughs> tournament in Reno. This is private game. Hey, hey, why you asking me? You know why? He got into the rosé at brunch. He's gone, so. I said this is private game. I know who you are, mate. Ivan! The terrible! <laughs> Wait, we're friends with Carl Heinrich. There's one little trouble. I knew it doesn't have any friends. Out of there!
No, I got him. Yeah, of course you did, mate. I love your work. Tell us where I'm the kids. You may be able to cut the deal. Never reach that for culture. Okay, you get three square meals a day and we'll get you a nice pair of trousers. Let's go. Give the order in a chance, Ivan. You stay. Yeah. Hmm? What's going on? Uh, Collins, I've got to go see the medic. Yeah. You? Yeah. No, no, just the intel flash. Okay. Okay. She texted her friend Trish, said she needed to talk because she was FTFO, which the photography department believes means she was freaking the fuck out! Sir, I, I SHIT you not. I was LMFAO when I read that it was crazy ridiculous. Bye. S and J J J J. Trish then called the babysitter and told her it was an emergency. This is serious. This is really serious. I can't believe this is my biggest problem. Last month I was dating my boggle set, and this month I'm dating two gorgeous guys. Okay, first of all, I need you to stop making references to boggle like it's a man. It's a game, and you sound like a woman who has nine cats and knits her ass off. And you never said they were gorgeous. You said they were good looking. There's a difference between good looking and gorgeous. You want to see a picture gorgeous. of them? Yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you had pictures. Give it. Oh. Wow. Right? That's dirty sex. You know when you know you're going to have dirty sex and it's going to stink? Not like sex. I mean like man stink. The good stuff. That's right. pretty impressive for you. Yeah. What does the other one look like? How do you, you just it? scroll over? You do the finger. Oh, I do. I am impressed with you. Scared the shit out of me. You all right? Yeah, medically speaking. Fine. Not a very good liar, you know that? Oh, yes, you are. Seeing as we're both here, we might as well share our resources. Guess I don't have a choice. Please sit down. Oh, I'm staying. Good. Well, I'm available as a friend. You want me to have sex with both of those guys just to test out stuff and see who comes back a winner and who doesn't? And they wouldn't even know it was me. I would pretend I was you. I just put my hair maybe up in a pony. And obviously I'm busy because I'm a mother, but I would carve out time in my schedule because that's the kind of friend I am. Why is she listening to that old man? I have no idea. Okay. You know what? That's not helpful. Okay, fine. Then why don't we do one of your little focus groups that you do at work and you can be the focus group. And I can be in charge, like you. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I okay, think. this is good. This is good. I like this. Okay, so I will ask you questions about the products, okay. the people, and you tell me who you like and what. I don't know. They're both incredible. I mean, what a struggle. Okay, I have to go home and clean tartar sauce out of Bob's beard right now, and probably one of his undescended testicles. And you're going to sit here and talk to me about how amazing these two guys are? Is there anything bad about them? Okay, let me think. Flaws. I think there... There is one thing. FDR has these tiny, like, girl hands. Like little T-Rex hands. Ah! Uh, ah! Gross. That means he's got a Mike and Ike for a penis. <laughs> you know that's not true. You've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it in Bangladesh. You know that's not true. And Tuck is British. Mm. What is that? Some <laughs> okay, so that doesn't mean anything. That's the same. They're kind of even. So I need you to get into decision making mode. And I need you to do it kind of quickly. I mean, it's fun, but I'm not the one having sex. So I can't be that invested. Okay. You know what I need? Mm. A joy. No, I need a deadline. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a finite amount of time to make this decision. That's good. One week I have to make a decision. One week. 
Okay, so she grew up in Georgia. She likes to volunteer at dog shelters. She's a fan of classic rock and collecting mini Camaros. Where's in the cars? <laughs> And she collects posters by Gustav Klimt. Yeah, Austrian cat. What a companion. Ain't you never seen the kiss? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, of course I have. Is this what I think it is? You're a fan? Of Gustav Klimt? Of Klimt. Klim. He's my favorite artist. He's my favorite artist. This is incredible. Are these real? Yeah. Okay, stop. You recognize this? Yes. The Harpist, 1995? Yes, I see the movement. Look at the tension between the two and three dimensionality. You see the tension between the two and three dimensionality. It's incredible. How do you know? This is my favorite thing. Undine, 1902. Undine, 1902. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Innovation became intrinsic to Degas, the other modernist. You can see the influence of Art Nouveau. You know, he was a strong advocate of the finger painting movement. What? We lost contact. Sometimes he would finger his paintings to get closer to him. He uh, used used his. He would he would he would the intimacy with the canvas to to finger a painting to rather to paint using hands sometimes he would use mud and sticks you know he used mud and sticks <clears throat> he did and if he couldn't find a stick and if he couldn't find a stick he would use a stick just use his what oh son of a bitch who is oh <clears throat> you know Enough talking. Let's let the painting speak for themselves. Oh my God. Wow. That is so beautiful. It's amazing. about this sir we might have some constitutional issues here Patriot Act challenges me you know but 
He's that guy who's always on. He's super slick. Sometimes I think he doesn't care about anything more than himself. Well, they say it's a sanctuary for them, but it's... Aww. Here it is. Aww. More of a sanctuary for me. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Betty. Excuse me? I just had no idea you were so passionate about animals. <gasps> animals and kids? What's up? How you doing, Nick? There are a lot of things you don't know about me. It takes a while for me to open up. I can see that. Are you allowed to open the cage? All the time. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Snuggles. How far are you, Bob? I love you, dog. Adopt a dog? I just think it's time for me to be responsible for something other than myself, you know? Wow. I think that's so great. <laughs> okay. Let's pick the saddest, oldest bastard here. He's con we have so much fun. More fun than I've ever had in my entire life. But he's maybe too sweet. A little earnest. Uh, sort of safe. Yeah. That's boring. I almost fell asleep just listening to that. Mm. Safe. Okay, hey, Tuck. I think I'm ready. All right, have you ever carried a weapon before? Well, you know, not really, no. <laughs> Okay, okay. I need you to keep that end of the weapon well away from me. Okay? Okay. Thumbs up. Is it fun? No. It's not fun. It's dangerous. Okay, watch that. Oh, that boy come right out of nowhere. Okay, you are disturbingly good at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how does that make you feel? Like if our nation gets attacked by random paintball people, I'll be safe. 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 I, I safe. tried to get your back there. I, I, I got off good? a few shots, but then I I think my triggering mechanism was stuck, no, and no, I was no, like no, trying no. to get people, and I was doing this thing here. Oh. oh, my God. Are you okay? Oh, I shouldn't do that. Are you okay? Can you walk? Yeah, I'm 
good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's good. I'm good. Come on, let's go get something to eat. So, you know how I was telling you that Tech has been really earnest? Well, the other day, we went paintballing, and he nearly put this kid's eye out with a paintball gun. And then FDR, we went to this animal shelter, and he adopted a 12-year-old dog with a milky eye. I'm telling you, it's getting weird. Well, I can't help but think it's my fault that I'm putting them in this position. It's making them crazy. It's making me crazy. So what are you going to do about it? I think I have to do what any rational woman in my position would do. Break up with them? Sleep with them. Sex tiebreaker. Oh, thank you! Finally! Finally! A sex tiebreaker! That is what you need to do. You have to have sex with both of them. Oh. Okay. Google it. We had a deal. Well, we have a deal. We have a deal. I'm not gonna have sex. And I'm not. I am not gonna have sex with this woman either. No matter how hard she tries. No matter how hard she tries. We do. We have a gentleman's agreement, and we are gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Full-scale tactical prevention mode. What exactly do you have in mind? Wow, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. nice. Do you think the candles are a bit cheesy? No, I think they're wonderful. This has been the perfect night. Dickerman, make it rain. You really think you can trust him? Absolutely not. Okay. Hydrotherapy for all football in here. Oh. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Really? A prank dart? A prank dart? Three inches over, I would have been dead. Four. Four inches. Huh? I hear the floor. What is that? Shut up, Jake. I cannot believe. You didn't trust you me. You were listening to Sade. Now, we both know what happens when you listen to Sade. She's an incredible singer. But these years, but your hormones start going, and you turn into Captain Horny Pants. Captain, and know. might I remind you, you were the one who flooded my apartment first. I was 
Three, the candles were a fire hazard. No, no, no. The only thing that you were worried about getting fired up was Lauren, wasn't it? Honesty, frankly. Tragic. Very serious anger management issues today, Ivan. So, I would appreciate it if you do me the courtesy of answering all my terribly boring questions. Sharpish. <laughs> the pliers, really? Yes, the pliers, really. Predictable, safe, and boring yet again. Why don't you tickle Ivan's feet till he talks with your teeny... Tiny, itty bitty jazz hands. Kidere Heinrich Brat. Never mind us, Spanish. Watch an agitator, bro. Brat. You're going to die. Don't worry, you're relaxed. Talk to you about bananas. Shoot, whose car are we taking tonight? I don't think it's gonna work out tonight. You know, one may not. It's, it's, it's not that. It's. Uh, I invited Lord. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a nice move, isn't it? Meet the family. Hey, Gary Kaspar. It's, it's not like that. Lauren's been asking about them, and you know, Nana, once she. Heard I was dating someone, she she got excited and she wanted to meet them. I don't believe this. We said what? Was what? This is not a play to one up you, Chuck. They're my family. Yeah, but they're my family too. Yeah, but they're my my actual family. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> This is Lauren. Lauren, this is my grandmother, Nana. So, you're the girl who's been putting up with Frank. Mm -hmm. I brought pie. Yeah, well, you know what the kitchen is. Lauren and I have a lot to talk about. Beautiful. Oh, is this FDR? Oh, yes. Look at that unibrow. Oh, it goes all the way around his head. Oh, no, he was so cute. Oh, Who are these people? Oh, those are his parents. They died when he was nine. I'm so sorry. He never told me that. In the car crash, they were going out to dinner one night, and, um, well, he's never been quite the same since. He has a hard time trusting people. But he must trust you, because you are the first girl he's ever brought here. I have a hard time trusting people, too. <laughs> he 
had the biggest blue eyes like marbles, which almost made up for the bed wedding. <laughs> Nana, we don't, we really don't have to talk about oh, that. We right really now. do. No, 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 no. No, we should. No, 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 no. I no. think we ought to. But he no. wore that Superman costume everywhere. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the smell. <laughs> <laughs> But how were we to know that he would take mm -hmm. it so literally? The little fella jumped off the roof. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I was given misinformation, okay? You know, we all make mistakes. That was one of mine. Yes, but remember, frankly, there are no mistakes. <laughs> to no mistakes. No, no mistakes. mistakes. No mistakes. Okay, wearing dresses. I was only wearing them because I thought that they were capes, the dresses. Are we recording this? I had a really nice time tonight. Me too. I like that guy with the unibrow and the braces. <laughs> I actually, I might like him more than I like you. He likes you too. <laughs> I should, uh, I should go. Yeah. I should be a gentleman. Well, the good news is, I'm a gentleman. This is not good. <laughs> Your dress, where are you going? I have to go to work. Mom, I thought maybe we could make pancakes or something. I, do you like pancakes? I love pancakes. I would love to have pancakes. I don't like pancakes, crazy people. Crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to go to work because I have a meeting really super early. So I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's cool. I have a, I got a meeting too, so okay. The last night was like, ah, uh, was what is it? That was crazy. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the. Thank, thank you for for that. Oh, I'm gonna go, but um, lock up behind you, or don't lock. I don't know. You're not gonna steal anything, are you? I don't know why I said that. Okay. Bye. Trish, I slept with them. Which one? FDR. Oh my God, that's awesome! How do you feel? Can you walk? Small hands. Not an issue. I knew. I told you it wasn't going to be an issue. How was it? Amazing. Like, five times amazing. But I don't know what to do. Well, I'm supposed to go meet Tuck this afternoon, but after last night, I, I can't see Tuck now. No, no, they do it to us all the time, okay? You think Gloria Steinem got arrested and sat in a jail cell so you could act like a little bitch? I don't think so. You get out there and you get flexible. I think I'm going to hell. You're not going to hell, and if you go there, I'm, I'll be there to pick you up. Okay, save me a drink. Boyley, have you got last night's surveillance tape, please? Oh, here you are. 
We didn't get anything. Got nothing. The tape jammed. So... <laughs> Boy, it is digital, you plank. Mm. Right. Yeah. So, can I have the disc? Seriously, you don't want to see it. I don't... I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. And did you see this? Only once. Right. What happened? Agent Foster entered the premises. Right. Yep. And? <laughs> Boiling. <clears throat> Then he... Boyley, what happened next? Then he entered the premises. I got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely no self-control, man. Well, I didn't plan on this happening, okay? And, well, and she's the one that initiated it in the first place. You were, of course she initiated it. You went out the big happy family. It's got go porn, isn't it? You brought the rules, man. Yeah, but the rules, this is not a game anymore. I really care for Lauren. Oh, great. You have affections. And it took you 30 years. Tuck. Well, I slept with her. Yeah, well, I'm not aware of that, aren't I? No, slept. Fell asleep. That's never happened to me before. Okay, so he wants to play families, so we'll play families. So we can play families, right? All right. Uh, yeah. Good, let's play families. I don't know what that means. It means keep me a family. Right, so you've got your aliases. Backstories. Charming anecdotes. Yeah? Great. Then, Mark, if you could pull out a few tears when you're telling that story of how I rescued the blind children from down the road, that's an extra 50 in Right, ladies, men and gents, I shall see you 1300 hours. What? I'm so glad you can make it out short notice. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. And then I'm going to absolutely love the room. Exciting. So am I. God. You look gorgeous. All right. I should be here already. I'm going to give you a ring. Do you mind? Oh, not at all. Okay. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Ago. They're not there yet. I don't understand, sir. They should be there by now. Yo, 
better than not, Ellie. Okay, let me find out what happened. Oh. <laughs> so finally, right? Yeah. <laughs> so has he told you? What? How he got his name, Tuck? No, he didn't. Oh, not his given name, not at all. Tuck, unusual, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Hi. Your dad was just telling me how you got your nickname. Hello, son. Hello, dad. Hello. 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 Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my God. Right, we're just getting to it. Oh, Tucker's comes down one day. I know it's 10 or 11. We're in a dress. Hikes up and goes, oh, look, I've got my naughty bits tucked under. And hence, tuck. I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. What's wrong with this boy? Uh, it doesn't matter because, like, we're just so proud that Tuck is into girls again. Finally. Because for a while, it was all Egyptian men. Yeah. Oh, gotta have it come in and go on, please. Ooh, ooh. Choo choo train. Come on, boys. Have at it. It's the Navy. <clears throat> I think we should order. Lauren, Tuck really is like a really great brother. He is. You know, he saved me from becoming a swinger. Before Tuck stepped in, everyone in our village used to call me the sausage wallet. T-S-W. That's a Shakespearean term for smut. Right. Where did you find her? So what's going on with the bits up top? Heard they weren't real. They look real to me. Tuck said they were fake. What? <laughs> right. I wouldn't say that. Oh, yeah, these knockers. Oh, can't wait to get into them. <laughs> oh, you did? Why are you yeah, lying there? Uh, they look quite nice. What Not as they? big as these wait, is there a waiter? bazookas, but... Okay, um, you know what? Actually, I forgot. I have a commitment at work, and um, it's been very nice meeting you all, but I have to go. You want something to get with it? <laughs> no, thank you. Wait, can I get your cell number? Lauren? Bring up six. Bring it. Sorry about that. What was that? That was the weirdest five minutes of my life. I'm so sorry. Those people back there, they are not my parents. What are you talking about? They're not my parents. Those are not your parents? No. I wanted you to think that I had a perfect family in case they were hired some people. You hired people? Yes. You hired what kind of people? Actors. Actors. Okay, you know what, Tuck? This is just bizarre. I, I don't know what to say about that. Okay, but I don't have any parents. I have no family. I thought what? that would impress you. Okay. That's why I hired some, because I thought that was normal. I thought that would do it. But you have a family. You have a son. Yeah. Okay, the truth about Joe. My relationship with Joe is really awful. It's really awful. Okay, when he was a, a little boy, it was great. He was a puppy. He loved me to bits, and then he grew up, and now I can't reach him. That's what I ended up doing. At all. Okay, so I didn't want you to see that because it's actually really, really bad. So I um, so I thought I'd hire a family because I thought that was normal. Right, look, um, I totally understand you needing to walk away because if I were you, I would walk away too. But I think I needed yeah. to. Yes? It's just I was really looking forward to today. Mm -hmm. It's just been a lot, and I think I should go. Lauren, I really want to get you home safe. Okay, so. Joyce is just a little way. Let me pick you up, and then I'll drink you straight with you. Okay. Hey, Spudney, how you doing? Come on, give us a cuddle. This is my friend. Oh. 
thought Uncle Frank was the only friend. Who's Uncle Frank? <laughs> um, uh, he's right. He is my only friend from work. But uh, this is my new friend, Lauren. Hi. Hi. Hey, what are you two doing this afternoon? Because I need some help with work, and I think you could be the man oh, for the no. job. Yeah? That's all good. Go to Sack Cam 6. The house. You, you, you don't want to see the. Oh my god. Bring up five. Two as they go. Bring up three. Bring up three. He's dead, sir. He, he's killing our butt. Bring up four. There goes seven. Oh, this is so bad. It's so good. We're dead, sir. Yeah, we are. I think that's the new British invasion, what just happened there. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. Okay, well, just breathe. Breathe in and breathe out and come sit down. Do you think it's possible to love two people equally? Love? Yes. Be in love? No. What do you do when you don't know what to do? I ask Bob. Your husband, Bob? Bob, Bob? Yeah. I mean, I know he's fat and ridiculous, but he's my fat and my ridiculous. And I like the way that I am with him. Mama, can you fix this? Hey, buddy. Don't choose the better guy. Choose the guy that's going to make you the better girl. Right? Right. I love you. 
Pretty fancy words to get the girl in bed. Bravo, well done, good performance. Yeah, I didn't expect you to understand that. Why can't you just admit you lost? I didn't lose. I was doing really well, actually, until you turned up with your big hair and your wall of white teeth. That's per usual. And let's not forget, yes, that I did find her first. <laughs> she fell for me, Tuck. She fell for me. It's not my fault you're always a step behind. If I'm only a step behind, it's because I'm cleaning up after you. You know what? I couldn't give a monkey who Lauren chooses between us. But this, what we had. Yeah, what? It's over. I already asked Collins for a transfer. Lauren, how are you up? Good. No, no, I'm just at work. I'm nothing much. A bit boring, to be honest. Oh, I do. I do know her very well. I can be there in about half an hour. That would be lovely. All right, my love. Bye. She called you. Watching last night's surveillance video on Tuck. Time to close the books on that one, Dickerman. She got away. All right, Dick. See you when I see you. I didn't expect you to see that, it was a surprise. Really? Yeah. Which is great, because I love surprises. Me too, gosh, I don't. Usually they turn out more bad than good grief. Hi. Hi. FDR, uh, what are you, um, I'm sorry, Tuck, this is my friend, FDR. FDR, this is Tuck. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Are you British? Yes, I am. It's a crying shame. Why? Oh, no reason. You have, you have very gentle hands, don't you? Strong hands. Gentle hands. Strong hands. Gentle hands. It's like holding a salmon. Can you excuse me for just a second? I'm just gonna, um, I'm off just a minute for a second. Order me a drink, um, in a shot. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello? Curse. They're both here. You've got to get over here. I'm hyperventilating. I told you you shouldn't date two guys at the same time. What? Hey, you never had the grace nor the humility to lose like a man, do you? It's Heinrich. He's in LA. We have to get on it right now. You know, you are incredible. You really are. I have to hat off to you. This is very impressive. Listen to me. You have to listen. Take your hands off me. 
This is not a talk. Take your hand Cut off my mind. Where you going? I, where you going? You're a confident woman who can deal with conflict. I'm gonna pass out. Has that been on my teeth the whole time? Now there. Tell them your decision. They're rational. They may even become friends. They'll probably just shake hands. I should have killed you again, or when I had the chance. What? Why are you having a laugh, mate? I was the only thing keeping you alive in Canada, mate. I was your only friend. Friend? Uh-uh. You two know each other? L Lauren. Uh... You two know each other? N yeah. What was this, some sort of bet, some sort of game? Would you see who could get the girl first? No, no, no. no. Let me explain. No, let me explain. I'm really no. You've done more or less. Shut up. I trusted you. Lauren, Lauren. It's worse than I thought. They know each other. What? I don't know how. I, I got. I walked in and they said they were friends or something. Here, drink this. Oh my God, what is that? It's a screwdriver. I mean, it's mostly vodka, but I'm sure there's some apple juice or something in there from somewhere. I just feel like an idiot. I thought they cared about me. Can we just get out of here? Yeah, sure. We could just go to a bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Exclusive, my friend. Jesus. Ah, oh, blood. Put on speaker. All right. Hi, Lauren. I'm really, really sorry about what happened. That was an awful. Lauren, night. it's FDR. I'm so sorry about what happened. You just be quiet. You be quiet. Come me. on. Maybe she wants to talk to me. What? Why didn't she call your phone then? I don't know. Well, shut up. You shut up, Lauren. No, you shut up. You two come along unarmed to where I was 22 and some people. Or I have to kill your pretty girlfriend and no friend. I see any police, any agent within a mile. You get her head in the main. Be there in the mouth. Go to that warehouse. She's not walking out another week. Well, what, is, what is that? GPS. I put a sat tracker on her. You put a sat tracker on her? Yeah, of course I did, didn't you? No, of course I didn't. I'm putting a soundtrack on her. That's completely immoral. I put one on a cell phone. Steal this car, Tuck. Cut it. Tim, he's gone on Venice. I'm trying not to screw this up. You try not to screw this up. Stop repeating everything that I said. FDR, target is holding steady. One mile to contact. Tuck, negative point eight miles. Right? Hey, 
Hey, get me close. I'm going to pull Monte Carlo. That's a negative. We don't have the angle. You're going to have to do a reverse clear up, Chief. Fine. Just get me close. Where the hell are they going? Headed south on the 310 freeway. But that freeway is incomplete. 300 feet? 200 feet? They're running in a road. Get forgiven more. He's the best man I know. But it's really the pair of you. You two belong to each other. You really do. You belong to Tuck. No, thank you, Tuck, but she's already made her choice. No! No, I didn't. You didn't? didn't? What? You didn't. No, I, I mean I did, but in light of everything I just found out, I, I feel like. Tuck.
And at this time, we do not know how it started. I don't they think he's a travel agent. It may have involved a German terrorist group as well as two federal agents. I was gonna tell you. That's why I asked you out. Okay. I am. It's good. It's good. I understand. Okay. Does Joe know about this? Um. No. No, not yet. But I think you will do in a minute. I love you. I love you. Family always and forever. Yeah. So are you. Take care. Take care. So. So when I add it all up and I crunched all the numbers and I said. said to me, pain is weakness in the body. By weakness. Weakness. Baby. Talk to your friends for that. Hey. So you're not a travel agent? This is me. Hi, um, I'm Katie. Hello, Katie. I'm Doug. Nice to meet you. Doug. That's right. Yeah, nice to meet you. Finally. You hungry? 
Yes, I am. I'm gonna get some dinner. As a family. Yes, yes, I will.